All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to you live from the home studio once again. This is day one of our post-corona quarantine educational enrichment activity lesson classroom thing. Anyway, um, I just want to point out that I know that my office is boring and I do have some plans in place. I got some decorations I'm going to start putting up, um, that sort of thing. So, hey, if you have any recommendations or any advice, anything like that, any shout outs that you want to do, feel free to leave comments on these or uh, send me an email or even comment on Google Classroom. But to the business, we are locked in, locked down and trapped in our homes, but that does not mean that we should stop learning. So I've got a few educational enrichment activities that I'm going to be throwing down for you today. You get to choose one of the three that I'm going to put out there, and it is going to be due tonight by 11.59 p.m. There will be an assignment on Google Classroom. You can choose any of the three things that I'm about to lay out for you and turn that in on the Google Classroom assignment, and I will get that graded for you as soon as possible. So for the first thing, I've got Google pulled up right here. You could probably see that. We are going to be looking into the news about coronavirus and the CDC. That's the Center for Disease Control. So I'm just going to type in CDC coronavirus, see what pops up. Here we have the news media, New York Times, USA Today, The Guardian. Always be skeptical. That's what I say, right? Don't trust the media. Don't trust the government. You need to do the research for yourself. If you read any one of these articles and you take that as fact without fact checking it, you're getting half the story. Now, if we move down here, you can see that we have some official CDC coronavirus information. Um, I would like you for option number one, of our educational opportunity to read through either a couple of these news articles or one of these news articles and one of these CDC articles about the coronavirus. And just uh, you're going to write up a reflection about what you learned about it, what your thoughts are on it, what your feelings are on it. No, I don't want you to have my feedback. Go away, CDC. Um, this is going to be mostly informational text reading, maybe persuasive uh, based on whoever the author is and what their intentions are. But once again, option number one, I want you to find an article about the uh, coronavirus and I want you to find a cdc.gov informational article about the coronavirus. I want you to read both of those. I want you to do some comparing and contrasting and then you're going to write up, well, type up a reflection for me and just tell me what you learned, what you think of it. Do you believe it? Do you not believe it? Are you fearful? Do you have any other questions? And that sort of thing. I'm looking for uh, probably about a half a page on this one. Yes, double spaced. But you've got lots of time on your hands. So if you want to go for a full page, you go ahead and you go for a full page. Okay? That's you. That's who you are. So that is option number one. I'm going to get rid of that. Option number two, I would like you in this one... Um, I'd like you to design a prepper guidebook for me. Now, I'm not saying that you should start prepping for doomsday or for the apocalypse, but there are possibilities of shutdowns. Like today, yesterday, we found out that the CDC said that we should uh, stop all, um, all group gatherings of more than 50 people for the next eight weeks, which would take us well into May, by the way. And if that's the case... What are the things that are going to be closing down? Bars and restaurants, we just found out today, are going to be closing today at 3 p.m. And they might not be opening back up for at least two weeks. My wife works at Spectrum Hospital at Helen Ross Children's Hospital. And the outpatient physical therapist division is closing down for two weeks, just completely shutting the doors. No PT for the kids, no services offered at all. That does not mean that the hospital is shutting down, obviously, but her outpatient facilities are. And that is huge. Churches are closing, restaurants are closing, hospitals are closing. There's a lot of craziness going on. So I want you to think about and design a plan for how you would prepare for, let's say, a two-week shutdown. What kind of foods are you going to buy that will keep the best? What are you going to do with your time? Are you going to create a schedule uh, to get you through the day? What are some of the activities that you're planning on doing? Okay, obviously, you're going to do Fisher's quarantine classroom activities. But other than that is what I'm talking about. So design one of those. Tell me if you're going to go someplace else too. I know some people have cottages that they might want to bug out to. 
uh, that sort of thing. Just lay it out for me. I'm looking for at least half a page. Full page would be preferable, but half a page is okay. Double space it and get that to me by 11.59 p.m. tonight. And then if you decide not to do either of those first two options, the third option, it's a Monday. So, of course, you should do 20 minutes of book love. They say that we should only give you 20 to 30 minutes of work to do per day. So 20 minutes of book love would totally fulfill that. Now, that would leave you with an extra 10 minutes. And that's where this activity really comes in because I need to know what you're reading and why you're reading and what you're thinking about it. So if you have books at home, read any of those that you want. Obviously, the libraries are shut down. Some of the stores are still open if you want to go buy a book. If your parents happen to have any books at home, that's cool. We also have access to the Overdrive app through Forest Hills and through the uh, KDL Cascade libraries. Even though the libraries are closed, we can still get digital books and audiobooks. There's lots of free books online, Kindle versions that you can get, or you can buy them for fairly inexpensive. I'd like you to choose some book that you preferably haven't read before, but if it's got to be a repeat, that's fine. I want you to read for 20 minutes today, and then I want you to do a little reading journal for me. Tell me what the title is, who the author is, and what's going on in the story, why you like it, why you dislike it, that sort of thing. Once again, that's option number three. If you choose to do that, type it up, label it option three, book love, turn it in to the assignment on Google Classroom by tonight at 11.59 p.m. So you have three options now, Whoop. three options. You could choose one of those for today, and that leaves two other options out there. I would like you to go through these three options over the next three days. Choose one to do today, do one of them tomorrow, and do one of them on Wednesday. And then I'll make a, another video for you guys with some new assignments on Wednesday. But choose one of those each day. There will be a new Google Classroom turn in each day. You could choose any of the three and turn it in to either, any of the days. But make sure you turn something in by tonight at 11.59 p.m. All right. That's your assignment for today. Choose wisely. Do what you find most interesting or most engaging. And uh, on a side note, hopefully you guys are doing okay. You know, hopefully you're feeling good. You're feeling safe. You're being smart. You're limiting your contact with people outside of your family and outside of your home. You're not touching your face. You're washing your hands. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want to chat with me, hit me up. Shoot me an email. Uh, leave me a comment on here on YouTube, on Classroom, or you could be cool like Tashan in first hour, Jacob Tashan. He sent me a video response and that was awesome. I'm considering sending him something completely random and cheap off of amazon.com just as a reward for being that cool. So the challenge is out there. You guys got some work to do and you got some free time. So that's all I've got for you today. Make sure you do something, turn it into Google Classroom for me, and have an amazing day. I do not know how to stop this. Oh, here it is. Found the button. Bye-bye.